I found my way to the clean program through a friend of mine who attended the clean program and has since moved on to a job you know, after he graduated college. Um, he had mentioned the clean program to me after I had got out of a halfway house in Duluth here. Um, I had uh, got in contact with uh, Julie in the clean program here. He had given me her number, you know, and it seemed like a very distant thing from where I was at. I had gotten in contact with Julie. Um, I had arranged a meeting with her. We had met. Um, you know, not long after that, I had a bed in the clean program. I had a place in the clean program. Um, it, it, it gave me opportunities. I, um, I uh, immediately, you know, as soon as I got in the clean program, I started working on my GED. Um, I think I was about three months, three months sober at the time. I started working on my GED. I uh, finished my GED. I got my GED. Um, I think like three, four days after I got my GED, I enrolled in college at uh, LSC. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to make it, but I did. You know, um, I enrolled in my in the first semester, and I'm actually wrapping up my first semester now. So I, you know, I finished that. So I had a, thus far in the clean program, I have stayed sober, gotten my GED, enrolled in college, attended my first semester, and now I'm finals. You know, I'm finishing up with that first semester. I, so that's how I, that's really how I came. You know, I found the clean program. Was he he was moving out, and he's like, you know, you, you seem like a perfect candidate for this program. So I moved in. And I took over and, you know, changed my life. The help that I had received when I was working on my GED definitely, you know, it definitely drove me because, um, you know, they wanted me to do good just as much as I wanted to do good. So, you know, that really, the love I was shown definitely, you know, made me appreciate the program a lot more. When I came into the clean program, that's what people did to me. That's what. That's why I'm here today. That's why I'm sober today. That's why I'm in school today because people showed me love. You know, I didn't feel alienated at all when I came in. I had people reaching out to me. Um, I had people, you know, offering helping hands, and um, that for me, <clears throat> that for me made the difference because you know I'm the type of person that if I don't feel like I'm wanted or I feel like I'm, I'm you know, things the vibe isn't right, you know, for lack of better words that I'll close up, you know, but it wasn't like that at all. When I came in, they, like I said, they wanted me to do good just as much as I wanted to do good, you know? And that, they offered me all the, inf the, the advice, the information, because a lot of people in the program had been where I was at, you know? And, I, and me being able to see where they were at and graduating college and, and doing things with their lives, you know? Knowing that they were where they were, where I once was, was is just, you know, so that's great. And I'd like to be that person for somebody else coming into the clean program, you know. So no, I definitely do, I definitely do. You know, I think it's very, I think it's very important that people see that this does work, you know, it does work. And um, so I, you know, I work hard, I'm gonna work hard, I'm gonna continue to work hard to be that person someday, you know. Right now I am, I am, you know, but to be a better, to have more notches on my belt, per se, to just to say, like, you know, this, I got my GED, I enrolled in college, I stayed sober, I went to college, graduated college, you know, do those things, you know, see how it rolls out and just show them, you know, you can do this because I, I you know, it's tough, but it, it can be done. And so people need to see that and people showed me that and it helped me and I can I give back by doing that same thing for other people. And so when I found clean program and when I when it became a realistic option you know it changed my life it really did you know and I owe you know as a big thank you to um, you know Joe to Julie to uh, all the people in the clean program you know anybody who's helped me along the way um, my good friends you know my roommate um, that have been a part of my growth as far as being sober and, and growing into a, a a contributing member of society, um, holding down jobs, job having a holding down a job, um, you know, and doing it, doing it, doing the things, you know, and, and uh, walking the walk, and actually being a role model for people that um, that know me, you know, and making my family proud, and you know, doing all the good things that I've done, you know, and there's, and there's much more to come. It's much more to come, you know. I have, I have one year sober on uh, Cinco de Mayo, five five. So, um, 
and I look forward to that. Um, but uh, other than that, you know, I just like to say it's possible. You know, I mean, it's 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 possible. You know, I've uh, been to all the places that you don't want to be, and now I, I'm I'm working towards being where I want to be, where anybody would want to be, you know, where everybody strives to be, you know, so, um, yeah, so that's what I have to say, you know, once again, I'd just like to say thank you to Julie and Joe and uh, um, anybody in the clean program, everybody in the clean program, everybody in the 12-step um, community, um, anybody who supports the clean program or supports anybody struggling with addiction or alcoholism, you know, there is hope, so, let that about it. Mm -hmm. Quality of life is huge, you know, because being sober and being miserable go hand in hand for somebody, you know, with an addiction problem or alcohol problem, you know. You can be sober, but it doesn't mean you're going to be happy, you know. So learning how to be sober and be happy are, you know, that's, that's, what, that's what I strive for and that's what a lot of people strive for. That's definitely, that's definitely the thing, you know, is that this, the, the clean program definitely improved my quality of life because it surrounded me with good people. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, even before I was, um, in the clean program, I attended a couple clean events because I knew that I'd be coming up here, you know, and it was things like volleyball, barbecues, um, we play games, you know what I mean? We go do things, fun, fun things, you know, and that, that for me was what I needed because where I was like, you know, what am I going to do now that I'm sober? What am I going to do now that I'm sober? You know, that was my thing. And they, they welcomed me with open arms. They showed me that there's more to it than just sitting around and wishing I wasn't sober, or wishing that I was doing something else with my life than I was, you know? And, um, you know, so no, it's, it, the quality of life thing is huge. You know what I mean? Happiness, waking up every day happy. Um, finding spirituality. Um, doors opening to things that I just, you know, I just, that I love.